Welcome to my day in the life. I start just about every morning with a cup of coffee and I really take it easy in the mornings because if I have to rush, I am not going to do it. So I will have my cup of coffee and I will sit down on the couch and read a book. Right now I'm reading Atomic Habits and then after I read probably about a chapter or two, I will make myself some breakfast and get my day started. We are going to the gym right now. I don't really know what to expect because it's like an event. It's our gym's one year anniversary. Um, it's a private gym, so it's usually not that busy, but since it's like an event and there's gonna be vendors there and stuff, um, it might be kind of busy. So I'm prepared to like, adjust my workout for the day but uh, my friend Yeva is coming to the gym and we're gonna hit hams and glutes together and what are you hitting honey chest and back chest and back classic cheers to get a free membership so hopefully we can be gym buddies more often but we are training hams and glutes today so i was just about to do some rdls you ready ah. all of my gym footage turned out to be pretty bad but it's typical that yeva is putting in work and i'm just over here checking myself out all right how are you Neither of us made it to 40 reps, so we didn't win the barbell pad, but I did buy these really nice resistance bands. So it's been an awesome workout at Open Gym today, Revival Fitness, and look who it is! My mom. <laughs> Joey, what advice do you have for maybe girls like me who are just trying to grow? Trying to grow as far as muscle, you gotta get yes. and train. Get and I'm trying train. to like grow social media. Uh, be trained, don't be afraid to train hard and lift heavy. The idea that these people put out there that if you train hard and lift heavy, you're gonna look like a man is absolute nonsense. There is nothing about having muscle, being strong, it isn't feminine, it's beautiful, it's empowering. Train hard, ladies. I'd love to see all the ladies in the gym. I think one thing we've seen over the past five, ten years especially is a lot of great female leaders in the gym. In this space, in this community, come forward on social media, uh, in gyms, in the fitness bodybuilding arena. Yes. That have been absolutely amazing, beautiful, strong, empowering women that are great examples for uh, young girls coming up and, and girls that want to be strong too. Yeah, so 
If you're a girl in the gym, check out Joey Swaltz. He is all about gym positivity and yes. not being intimidating or not being intimidated by other people in the gym. So. Gym is a brother sisterhood. It's a community where it doesn't matter your gender, your race, your politics, your religion, your sexuality. 45 pounds is 45 pounds. You come in, you work hard, you respect others, you get the same back. And anything or anyone that tries to destroy that or come in and you know poison that with their toxicity, we'll get you. We'll, we'll, we'll get you. We'll, we'll get you and we'll, we'll convert you to, be, to becoming a brother and sister of the gym. You belong here just as much as anybody else. Absolutely done at the gym um i got home and i decided that i didn't want to eat healthy today so i decided to treat myself to some junk food i got raising canes so i will be eating fried chicken and french fries for my post-workout meal and it's going to be amazing and i'm very excited for that um the rest of the day today it's my day off of work okay so this day in the life of me um I really wanted to make it like the most relatable and realistic because I always see like day in the life videos and they like film themselves waking up and getting out of bed. I'm like, I'm not going to get out of bed, set up my tripod and my camera and film my like get back in bed to film myself waking up. Like obviously, you know that I woke up from my bed like a normal person like come on so um i just wanted to film a day in the life to like resurrect my youtube channel um get started again like just trying to film my like progress to becoming a wellness competitor um so today's day in the life is super unesthetic um, super realistic and relatable and very much like if I had time to film it today I had time another thing I'm like okay I always see these day in the life and I'm like do these people have jobs I do have a full-time job okay so today is my day off of work and I specifically chose to film today because I was doing something exciting going to the revival event my gym's uh one year anniversary is what it was so it was open gym and then they had like vendors and things like that um then one of the trainers that trains there he was having a contest to do 40 hip thrusts at um i think it was 245 pounds and i tried it i only got 20 reps dog that was hard and like I can hip thrust heavy like I've hip thrust at 315 and like I think I even hit like three what would ne the next level up be three uh 65 I like put a 25 on the end of 315 and I've hit 365 before but lately I've just been doing um like 155 and 185 just because I get much better muscle contraction with lower weight and I like recruit my back muscles way less when I do the heavy weight I am using my back I'm using like I'm using muscles that I'm not trying to target so I've been doing the lighter weights getting better muscle engagement and that's really important to me because my goal is growth um not lifting as much weight all willy-nilly as I possibly can for no reason. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, I've got just day off things to do today. So I'm going to clean my kitchen. Um, probably going to practice my guitar. Um, so that's, uh, that's what we're doing for today's day in the life. Um, yeah. Having a full-time job and trying to like be consistent on like YouTube and social media, it's hard dog. So I am going to really try, I my goal is to put uh, 20 videos out this year, 2023. So, and I'm hoping that telling you guys will hold me accountable to doing that. Um, I'm really focusing on like improving my habits and like not just chasing my goals, but accomplishing them. Um, I'm reading the book, Atomic Habits. And something that I'm learning, I actually read about it today, is that like sometimes preparation can actually be a form of procrastination. Like if you spend too much time planning, you're not 
actually doing what you're planning to do. You need to just do it. So like planning is the motion. You need to do the action. So that is something that I'm working on improving about myself this year. Um, I have a whole whiteboard with like goals, um, with objective goals and actionable goals and just like things written down. It's like my vision board right now. Um, so yeah, I guess just wanted to chit chat about that. So yeah, this is my day in the life and I will see you guys next time.